Ayo. 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 My name is Ezreal Uchenda Vicent. I'm from Idata North Local Government in Mo State. Well, I want to start with my journey with ministry. For some reasons, I have stopped going to anything ministry after my encounter with a fake man that claims that he's a man of God, who asked me that God told him that he should tell me that I should go and disveging a girl. That that will bring prosperity to me because I was down. Everything was scattered after my father's death. So I refused. Because of that reason, I said I will never have anything to do with any man of God. That I will stick to my rosary and the precious blood society where I belong. Then during my, okay, before my service, somebody sent me Zion video. Immediately I saw the video, I deleted it from my WhatsApp. I said I will have nothing to do with anybody that is not a priest. Then, during my service, everything was chattered. My life even, I, I, I collapsed one time during my service due to what I was going through. Then one day, I complained to a woman. She's in Israel. So I told her what I was going through. Then she sent me Zion video. Immediately, I wanted to delete it. Something said, no, just listen first before you delete. Then immediately, I listen. What daddy was talking about that day was about fornication. I said, ah. Who is this man of God that is preaching about this? And I decided to follow Zion from there. I started following Zion, Zion from there. Fast forward, even some of my friends joined. When I returned back to, to Lagos, I stayed with my cousin, my elder brother. He's, 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 he's here right now. I used to stay with him. So I told him about Zion. He told me ah, that he even knew the father Luke or the Kemere, that our auntie, that is his mother, used to go there when they were small. I decided to join Zion. Then on the night of February... 2023, during the night of open I was not online, he was online. And Brother Ebuka located my family. And the Lord said to me, Some man prophesy about Ezra and her family. Ezra, Ezra and her family. Arebo, this is the family of the kings. So many, so many things we have done in your family long ago. Ezra, Ezra and her family. So many things we have done in this family. For a long time, for a long time, Akako, it was a great family, but now a family age at Kono, a family age at church. But a prayer warrior has risen from that family. People that can cry to God risen, and you people have been crying to God about your family. And I am here to tell you what I am hearing. The Lord said I should tell you that the yoke in your family is destroyed. Amen. The yoke in your family is broken. Amen. The family yoke is broken. Amen. Giants will begin to rise again. Amen. Giants will 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 rise again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Immediately, he sent me that prophecy. I listened to that prophecy. I said, wow. Wow. I showed my mom because I was with my mom there. I showed my mom immediately. Then the next morning, the woman that introduced me to Zion called me on WhatsApp from Israel, told me that they called your family, that she believed that I'm the one. And I told some people, they said there, there can be many years that, you had, that he was not precise, so it may not be you. I said, no, that I believe that even if it's not me, by the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary, I claim it. You understand? If, if I claim that, so that was 2023. I came back from my service. I rented my shop. When I rented my shop, God, God inspired me that I should come to Zion and pack sand. That before they place ties on my office, I should pour it on, on the ground. And when I put it on the ground, that miraculous things will happen there. Then I did it. I, I myself, I put the sand there. Then throughout 2023, things were coming, things were changing. And I was, I was, I was still expecting it to happen, boom, boom. But it was just happening. Then come, come December, I just made up my mind one day. I said from today henceforth that I think I'm the problem. I will start keeping to everything that God says through Brother Ebuka, which is do not sleep. Uh, do not have sex till, till you're married. Then I had to buy a rope. There is a rope on my hand. I asked a priest. A priest blessed it and I tied it. Then January, temptations were coming. I said, You no. tied it where? I buy it from a Catholic, from a Catholic sacramental. You tied the rope where? On my hand. Look at it here. So okay. that whenever I see it, I will remember my vow. I thought they tied it on your private part. No. <laughs> so, January, I said, No, I'm this year, in fact, Whenever I hear brother, 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 our daddy talk about how he sleep on the floor, I say this year I will be aggressive to myself, that I will not watch movie again throughout this year. Then I said, from January, I discovered that things were going small, small. Then my goose, a business I just started within one year, my, a container that my goose was inside just had issue. And the thing, the thing was just there, my shop was empty. I said, ah, God, how can I be following this principle? 
no matter, you know how hard it is for me to control myself. And things are going bad like this. Like what is going on? And something said, continue with Zion and wait. Then fast forward to a customer that I looked down on, a customer that used to buy something of just 30 something thousand. One day he visited me. He said he wanted to step into my office. I told him, okay, you can come. Lo and behold, the man came. He entered my office. Then we sat, we, as we were speaking, he said something about a security light that he used to buy. I asked him that. I told him that I can supply this thing to you now. That why, why will you give it to someone else? The man said, are you sure? I told him, yes. The man said, are you sure? The man said, okay, don't worry. He tapped me and said, don't worry. I should buy him food. I bought him food. He ate. Then he left. Oh, it was not up to one month. The man called me and said he needed the light. Then I said, okay. I was hustling to get the light. Then a particular night, I, I was in a dream. I saw our daddy Ebuka in the dream. And he tapped me and told me that who killed my father is around me, that I should be careful. I said, okay, I woke up. Immediately I woke up, I, I said that because of I saw him and he has tapped me that God, I claimed that business. It was not up to some days. The man called me and said, he, he's going to give me that business. Lo and behold, the man sent 38 million naira. We did the business. When the money entered to the company account, I was shocked because, ha, I put them down my food, you understand? So, even my shop that was empty, self, I had to use the, what I got and I filled there. I was thinking, I was, even my mom, everybody was surprised. Everybody was just shouting. Then, it was not even up to two weeks. The man called me again and said, there is another business. Ha. And that I should run around. That particular, a day before the man concluded to choose me because there were so many competition. I saw Brother Ibuka in my dream again. He came and he tapped me again. And lo and behold, the man said, I'm the one to do the business. Then that day that we were meant to do the business, something happened. Almost caught the business. I don't know how God just touched the man. The man said, do you know what? I have chosen you. You are the one to do the business. And he gave me, he, he, paid, the, he paid the company 203 million naira. I was... Are you still there waiting? He here 38 million. He here 203 million. When that one of 203 million happened, somebody met me and asked me that which group do I belong that is giving me this business? I told him that it's Jesus Christ because I don't know the man. I just met the man on Instagram when I run a normal. Facebook, my Facebook ad for my business. So after the one of 203 million, that was a week, before, a week towards my birthday. I was telling people, people were just shocked. I told them that even myself, I'm shocked. I don't even know how to say this testimony. I'm scared because if you tell me that in the next five years, I will see that kind of money, I will not even believe. So after the one of 203 million, the man called me again one day and said that he needed another light. That, I'm, that, that he has seen the way I, I do things, that I, he wants me to supply that one. We tried, we tried. When, I, when we finally got the one that I want to take, the man deposited under 15 million. So, a day after he deposited the 15 million, Satan came. The man was not angry. He said, you know that, with the, that he cannot use the light. He cannot use the light. Immediately, I was only discouraged. There's something just told me, continue with your rosary. Don't stop. Within 24 hours that, that the man was angry, the man called me back and said, have you told the company to refund? I said, yeah. He said, why will you tell them that I want it? Immediately, he sent the remaining 30 something million. We finished the business. Even the man, we still have other business to do. So I, I was so happy. I said, I must come to come and glorify. Where even, are those that know this man very well even, to his shop? See how they transfer the money. Who knows him? My cousin brother is here. Look at him, look at him, look at him. I know here, John Kinsley, that's my brother. Him where? Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Makanda Renji. If you know you know him, come. Three people, three people, come. You say you know him. You got an opposite my shop. Opposite your shop. You know him? My younger brother. Your younger brother. Brother in law. Yeah, boo. Praise God. You see him. This is tested and seen. Remember the first time he was seeing 35,000 naira from nowhere. That 8 million drop. From 38 million to 203 million. From 300 and 203 million to 15 million. From there to 15, 35. God can make a poor man suddenly and instantly rich. Are you married? Eh? No, no, no. no. <laughs>
He said, um, he is a mortal. I prophesy. I receive. May you be the next that will give testimony. Hey, hey. Hey. Listen. Whenever prophecy came for family, there is somebody that is triggering that prophecy. The man of God mentioned Ezra, that the kingship is coming back. After that prophecy, he did something by closing his laps. The more you put your mouth in a woman's private part, the more you hinder your miracle. The more you are putting your mouth in a woman's breast, the more you hinder your miracle. You must take a bold step. He was sleeping with a woman. At a time, he said, let me apply what Brother Epoca is teaching. So many of you here will have been a mortal millionaire, but God is waiting for some more sacrifice from you. I am happy for your vow. A handsome boy that can keep himself. Now he will not have sex until he marry. Lay hand on the altar, all of you. Now, your success will not end. Amen. Don't go back. Jeremy Z sing, I don't like this hair. Are you hearing me? Yes. I don't like it. I don't like it. May the Lord bless you, favor you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Jam your hands for Holy Ghost on their behalf. <laughs>